Don't hate women. Hate the game. It's just how life is. So what are you going to do about it? You're going to go online. You're going to post. Cry about it. Can't do it, guys. Uh, I'm just too short. Uh, I'm too ugly. Like, you know, I get mad at people and just, you know, go online and just bash them and just feel, uh, feel better about myself. Like, you know, and one thing I'm learning these days being 21 and being in college is that so many things you don't know, right? Yo, you really got to experience very easy for a young man to just fall into a rabbit hole of hating women. Like, I'll be honest, like, because the way how social media is now, you know, you guys see it all the time, TikTok, Instagram, you know, YouTube, you know, there's a lot of podcasts now, you know, talking about how dating isn't, you know, how dating is rigged, you know, how women want, you are six foot, guys who want a lot of money, guys who, and I'm thinking to myself, like, that's not the women that you want to spend time with, you know, long term. The reason why people complain about a lot of things is because it's not going well. If your life is going good, you're not going to complain about it. If your family is good, you're not going to be complaining about your family. If your friends are good people, you're not going to be talking bad about your friends. If it's the other way around, you're going to say something bad about them. The whole point of men and women since the beginning of time is to be together and to become one. Not saying to lose your identity towards this person. Not saying always have your own things going. Always have your own identity going for yourself. Because I think we need to stop this us versus them mentality because... How are we ever going to be able to figure each other out? Because at the end of the day, men and women think differently. And many times I had girls, you know, tell me, I was even, like just stating simple facts like, oh, there was maybe one question a girl asked me. They said, oh, who gets rejected more, men or women? I said men because I don't even have to pull up any statistics for y'all to even like everyone knows and gets rejected more than women because men are the ones who likely to go up to a girl and talk to her and say hi and girls might just you know be a little shy off and like you know wait for their turn and only been approached maybe once in this entire time i've been on earth once and that was because the girl was super bold and that doesn't happen a lot at all but despite being called certain names i'll never oh i'll be single for the rest of my life despite them saying that to me don't let that phase me i don't hate women those are just the type of women i wouldn't want to associate myself with it's hard is the fact that it's very rare to find genuinely a good woman by your side due to the fact that the world is just corrupted in so many ways i've deep into why it's not your fault and at the same time it is your fault you know but let's get into it for example you have a credit card right tell your credit card you're thinking okay i'm gonna pay this off within one month no credit cards um the payments are every single month right 15, 14, you don't pay that back. And the credit card company lowers your credit score. You're gonna be mad at them. You're gonna plead at them like, oh, let me get one more day pleading with them, right? In reality, you're probably mad at yourself. But at the end of the day, they're just doing their job. At the end of the day, they're not gonna care. They still need their money back. Knowing that you couldn't afford to pay that back, now you're in a much bigger problem maybe you lost your job maybe you didn't were in a situation where you had to you know pay other bills maybe you just didn't have any money in your bank account at that point you know we all go through problems and we all go through situations or what happens you know whether it's a death in the family whether it's you know a financial problem whether it's you know a relationship problem whether it's anything people just go on living people just go on moving about their day and it sounds fucked up <laughs> it does but that's just the way how to navigate life. People that had houses and that didn't have insurance, whose fault is it? Sure, it's Mother Nature's fault, but whose fault is it at the end of the day? You. Situations requires insurance. If you if you go out and purchase a car, lease, rent, whatever, you need insurance. If you go out and I could I could get this this mic right here is that's in my hand. I bought it at Walmart. They asked me, do you, do you want to put insurance on that? I said, nah. Now, if it breaks, that's on me. I have to replace it. Laptop, every, every everything is insurance, bro. Rules of life aren't going to change, bro. Point the finger at so many different things. If you're those type of people, that's just, like I said, online, bashing women, or if women, if you're online, bashing men, how is that going to solve anything? 
the only way you're going to solve things is if you come up with solutions to the problem or to the issue my girl's coming on here saying oh so you think so you think girls don't do nope that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is a girl she can either be she can either be super rich super poor at the bottom and meet a man that will take care of them a man if he were it's going to be harder for him to get a woman the men think of it as like you're in a video game you need to level up because if you don't are useless to the world that's just how it is or you continue hating people because of what they did or didn't do then you're worse than them because you let them control you you let them control your mind you let them basically in that sense win so the guys who say the truth i commend you for it because we need it we need more voices to speak about problems and come up with solutions but to the ones who hide behind their keyboard all day and you know disrespect women or to the women that hide behind their keyboard or phone all day and disrespect men those are the ones who i'm talking about it's so hard being a man yeah bro you gotta work you gotta do stuff you gotta be able to provide something man's value is him, him being able to provide create hitting on anybody is such wasted energy to the point where you're not gonna gain anything out of it the only thing you're gonna gain out of you know hating somebody is just more and more stress upon yourself because your life could be because at the end of the day in life you have problems so if you're gonna sit there and put your energy towards other people that clearly don't care about you or clearly aren't thinking about you you're wasting your time when so to anyone that so to anyone that disrespected you or to anyone that did you wrong take that as inspiration to do better put yourself in a better position put yourself around better influences go where you're celebrated not where you're tolerated but if you know certain women don't like you for you walk away hope you guys got something from this make sure you guys subscribe share the video like comment let me hear your two piece on it hope you guys have a great day jc talks